OK, so right on board with me in the practice for this year's Brick Car 24 Hours at Silverstone. So we're coming down to Cops Corner, one of the fastest corners on the track. Here we're staying in fourth gear, very light braking, back on the throttle, trying to carry speed through the corner. And you can see we're about just under 100 miles now on the exit. Up towards Maggots and Beckett, still in fourth gear. First section, this left hander is absolutely flat out, no lifting of the throttle at all. It's carrying the speed all the way through. A little bit of braking before you change direction. Back to the right, a little bit of oversteer there, down to third gear. And again, carrying to trying to carry speed through this section onto the hangar straight. Now this fast, sweeping complex of left-right corners really shows up the MX-5 strength. So it's very good at carrying speed, lots of balance in the car. Haven't got a great deal of power. I've got a standard engine, so it's only 160 horsepower. But those sort of fast corners are where the car really excels. Coming down the hangar straight now towards Stowe, another fast right-hand corner. So just focusing on the braking point as we come down. Here we're going to go down to third gear as we're braking. It's quite a late apex, looking for the late apex. Maintaining the throttle through the corner, applying the power on the exit. So you can see the car's nicely balanced through there. Up to fourth gear, coming down towards Club and Vale. It's one of the slowest corners on the circuit, so quite hard braking. Down to second gear, looking for that apex point. Taking the car into the apex, and this part of the track's changed now, so um, third gear. And then this bit's flat, so flat out through the right-hander, and you can see on the right-hand side the new pit complex for the new Grand Prix circuit. But we're using the old circuit for the 24 hours, so we're keeping over to the right-hand side, coming towards the old left-right Abbey chicane. So picking your braking point at the end of the pit wall, down to third gear. And this, this corner's faster than it looks, so staying in third, keeping the power on through the apex. And up to bridge corner, it's a great corner this. Absolutely flat out of the MX-5, so up to fourth as you go underneath the bridge, and then it's fully flat on the throttle all the way through bridge corner, carrying the speed up to Priory. Again, another deceptive corner, it's a bit blind on the entry, but faster than it looks. Using a little bit of kerb on the apex, and then letting the car flow out to the outside. Towards the complex, down to second gear. And again, these tighter corners, the Mazda's got really good traction, 50-50 weight balance, a little bit of oversteer there as the car rolls into oversteer up to third and then just trying to build speed around the last corner again just balancing out the oversteer as you come towards the exit and trying to carry speed onto the straight through the woodcock kink and just coming out to the timing line now as you go through up fourth gear over the timing line and that's a lap of silverstone